Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem. We have 3 root x plus x equals 2. Okay, so what do I do first? Take x to the other side. So I have 3 root x equal to 2 minus 1, right? And then the next thing I'm going to okay 2 minus x actually the next thing i will do is to divide both sides by 3 so that root x will be alone this will cancel this and then square root of x is equal to 2 minus x over 3. now the next thing i'm going to do is to eliminate this x from here this square root from here and I do that by squaring both sides. Now the square root and the square will cancel each other. So that x will be equal to 2 minus x over 3 all squared. And then this means we are having x to be equal to 2 minus x over 3 multiply by 2 minus x over 3 okay so that if we multiply this x will be equal to 2 times 2 that will give 4 then 2 times minus x that will give minus minus 2x then minus x times 2 will give another minus 2x and then minus x times minus x will give plus x squared we have plus x squared and this will be over 3 times 3 which will give us 9 okay so if we continue x will be equal to 4 minus 4x plus x um, squared and the whole of this is over 9 now what you do is to cross multiply so that 9x will be equal to 4 minus 4x plus x squared and then remember that we can you know rearrange it this way so we have x squared minus 4x plus 4 equal to 9x right remember i started from the right hand side there so that if i bring everything to the left i will now have x squared minus 4x then minus 9x plus 4 equal to 0. And then x squared minus 4x minus 9x will give us minus 13x. Okay, and I have plus 4 equal to 0. Now we have a quadratic equation. From this quadratic equation, we are going to apply formula method. So that our a will be 1, the coefficient of x. Our b will be minus 13, the coefficient of um, x. This is coefficient of x squared. This is coefficient of x for b. And then our c is equal to 4, the constant. Now this is the formula. We have x equal to minus b, positive or negative. Square root of b squared minus 4ac and this is over 2a now let's put everything into this formula so that x becomes minus minus 13 because b is 13 right then positive or negative we have b squared which will be minus 13 squared then minus 4 times 1 times c which is 4 okay so from here we take a step further divide by 2 times 1 which will give us 2 and then our x will be equal to negative negative 13 will give us plus 13 plus or minus then <clears throat> from here i have minus 13 squared and this will give us 169 minus 4 
times 4, that will give us 16, right? Okay, so the whole of this is over 2. And now we continue from here. Okay, so x will be equal to 13 positive or negative square root of 153. And this is divided by 2. Okay. And then what does this mean? It means that x is equal to 13 plus square root of 153 over 2 or 13 minus square root of 153 over 2. And if you want to have decimal answer to this, you can punch on your calculator to get the square root of 153 so that you will have x to be equal to 13 plus 12.4 approximately over 2 or on the other side we have 13 minus 12.4 divided by 2 right so that if we continue x will be equal to 13 plus 12.4 will give us some um, 25.4 and we're dividing this by 2 or 13 minus 12.4 will give us 0 0.6 divided by 2 and now okay sorry so we have it like this x will be equal to 25.4 divided by 2 and this is giving us um okay 2 divided by 2 is 1 then 5 divided by 2 will give us 2 okay we have decimal points 1 will cross over to make this 14 14 divided by 2 is 7 or on this side, 0 0.6 divided by 2 is 0 0.3. So therefore, x is equal to 12.7 or 0 0.3. Thank you for watching.